Hey everyone, um, sorry for the, yeah, mess. So, now that I have, like, more Resident Evil games, I am gonna do, like, a proper Resident Evil worst to best. Again, this is only, like, the Resident Evil games I have. Not, like, all of them. There's still some I haven't played. I still have yet to play Resident Evil 1 or Complete Zero. Or 3 for the PS1. I did, the first Resident Evil game I played was Resident Evil 2 for the PS1. It was, it scared me back when I first played it for the PS1. I was like, what, like 10, 12 years old? I still like these, that's got an infinite machine gun. I'm so angry that Resident Evil 2 play I never got the crossbow. That was in the original. Rest in peace, crossbow. Rest in peace. Okay, so... Shoot, how many Resident Evil games do I have? Okay, so I have 10 Resident Evil games. 11, sorry. So number 11 for the for the 11th worst would be... File Outbreak. Reasoning why I put it so low. Yeah, the game came out at the wrong time. It came out right when PlayStation 2 Online was just about dead. Yeah, I mean, the game is really short, and it has a time limit. I do not like games with time limits. When I play a game, I would love to explore the area. And, yeah, solve, all, solve puzzles. In Fall Outbreak, I have to, yeah, rush. Run through each level. Fight each boss. And... It gets annoying fast, you know. And the AI for the uh, the ones who I'm paired with are either a sloppy, don't know what to do, and if, you're, if I'm away from them too long, they'll die. I really wish Capcom remakes this, because I feel like this will do amazing for the PS4 or PS5. Okay, so second place for oh, so second place for so the time for worse we'll have to go to Resident Evil Resistance. Okay, the reason why I don't like Resistance, I feel like it should have been its own game. I feel like it should have been its own game. And I also feel like because it's paired up with Resident 3, 3 kind of suffered because of that. I mean, instead of Resistance, I mean, they, they should have made Resistance before 3, like after the second, after Resident 2 remake, and then have like Resistance come out, and then have Resident Evil 3 come out much later. I mean, that would have been nice. I do want, I do feel like we could have gotten a lot more for three. We could have had the Grave Digger, we could have had more areas of what we could have have. I feel like the original 3 remake was rushed just so that they can push out resistance. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. Resistance should have been its own game, like Dead by Daylight or... Friday the 13th game. Uh. And for number 9, we'd go to Resident Evil 5. The game is fun, but it isn't scary. And the game heavily relies on action. Kinda a different route for Resident Evil like the past games 
I mean, compare this to 4, man, it's just not that good by comparison. Oh, so, I mean, it did get two DLCs, which is cool, but what I really hate about 5 is, 1, I only have 9 spaces for my inventory. I can't increase my inventory. I and then I have a partner Sheva. Well, if I'm playing as Sheva, Chris, the AI is just no. Yeah, the AI is just no. Also, yeah, I really don't like the concept of if my partner dies, I get a game over too. I'd rather have them and be like invincible, like they were in Revelations. Okay, that was. Oh, yeah, no, I have 12. There's new games out. Sure, lost track, dumb. The next Resident Evil game I have to give it, give is... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Resident Evil 4, the remastered version. Why? Well... I'm sorry. Look, there's no platinum trophy you can get for the remastered version. What is that? I wanted a platinum trophy. Also, the graphics can be oh, a bit weird. I mean, look at that. The green, yeah, the herbs look like glitter. The shotgun looks like a toy. Yeah, some of the weapon designs that they made in the, in the remastered looks really weird. Yeah, I also like put that one low because I have two Resident Evil Force. Um, I would probably say next on the list for the next rush would, next one would be Revelations 2. I mean, I love the fact that you get to play as Barry and Claire, but the, it only has eight chapters. Four for Claire and Moira, and the other four is for Natalia and Barry, and you know how I feel about yeah, having a partner that can die. I mean, it does get better for this one because, yeah, the characters can heal themselves over time. And besides, raid mode is pretty much like another game, which is really fun. Yeah, I spend most of my time playing raid mode rather than the actual main story. Alright, so next would be... Resident Evil 3 Remake. Alrighty, where do I begin with this one? Yeah... The game feels rushed. I wish they could have had like more areas. I wish we could have had. Uh, yeah, we could have played as Carlos. I know we do get to play as Carlos like twice, but I really wish we could have played like as Carlos to see like what he did before Claire. You know, left her apartment, and you know, have him. And I really wish Carlos could have fought. Nemesis at least once. He did fight Nemesis in the original. Cut that right out. Also, the game doesn't have much replayability. In the original, I heard that it had like multiple endings. And no barely. Boo. Next would be Cold Veronica X. Actually, we play in the game. Yeah, I decided to put this much high on the list because. It's a fun game, and it's a long game. You get to play as Claire, and this is actually the first one we get 
This is the only Resident Evil game where... Yeah, you Yeah, Claire and Chris are together. And I really do want this one to be a, get a remake. I really do. Alright, next Resident Evil game would be Resident Evil 6. Reasons. Uh, okay, why is it so high up on the list? Again, you get to play as a lot of different characters, and that's... You now, the game is pretty long, which I can respect. Although, Chris's ending was a bit... Eh, sad. Originally, yeah, Chris is supposed to die in his campaign. Boo. Next would be Resident Evil Revelations 1. Um, it tried to go back to the horror roots that it had, like, the past Resident Evil games. Which I can respect. Some of the enemies in the game so freak me out. Yeah, some of the enemies in the game still freak me out. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna put the um the D 3DS version next as I mean the difference between the 3DS and the PS4 is a new enemy that was shown up. And the next one would be now at the final two. Yeah, now we make it the final yeah, silver medal for best one to go to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Wait, yeah, no, Resident Evil 2. I mean, Resident Evil 2 is a fun game, yes, but it has a lot of deals. It has a lot of stuff in it. Um, the what if scenarios, which is really cool. The, um,. What of scenarios, the... Um, the what's my call it? Um, the scenario A, scenario B for both characters. I really wish version 3 would have been much more like this, but... Yeah, it is what it is. And finally, the best one, in my opinion, is... Biohazard. Wait, no, I forgot 4. Resident Evil... Shoot, scratch that, um, Resident Evil 4 for the PS2 gets bronze medal, for gets bronze medal, because, again, you can't beat the original, sorry remastered, Resident Evil 2 gets silver medal, because the game is really beautiful, really great, and, yeah, I already said, like, why I liked it so much. And gold medal. <laughs> oh, I just realized what I did there. Yeah, gold medal goes to Resident Evil Biohazard Gold Edition. Okay, the game has a ton of DLCs, which I absolutely love, and still we're playing a lot of them. It is really great. And the whole fact that it's like a POV type game. Amazing. We're also getting 8 coming out soon for the PS5. I'm a bit upset that it's not going to be the PS4, but I'm hoping Resident Evil 4 will come out for the PS4. Alright. So, yeah, I actually do enjoy, um, yeah, Gold Edition. It has a good story, good jump scares, good... It, it takes you right back to the horror. And I actually did jump at some of the jump scares and did get scared of some parts, which was cool. And that's my list of the um, Resident Evil games.